had a problem with your backup lights. I checked the fuse. Where else would you look? That might be a. Are they not not coming on? They're not coming on. And the bulbs are good. I, I haven't checked the bulb yet. It's <laughs> 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 a simple test. Yeah, yeah, but, he, but it also is affecting the backup camera. I figure that's probably tied into it. Do the ball oh, do the ball tied in. That, the, that's a whole other layer of complexity. Yeah, does the bulbs complete the circuit? Because I'm not I'm not getting a light. I know I'm not getting a voltage on a, a wire that feeds part of that camera system. First I would disconnect the backup camera. So it yeah. could be overloaded. See if the regular system works. Yeah. Anytime you add something, uh, you may have unintended consequences. Else. <laughs> yeah, I don't know how they tied in. I didn't do the backup camera, so I'm not exactly sure where it's tied in. The it proper way would be on the fuse panel. They would have plugged it into one of the sockets there in front. That's where it's supposed to be. But yeah. for convenience, rather than run wires all the way through, they'll tap into something on the rear uh, tail light system. I think there's some, some way of doing it off the tail light. do that, yeah. But uh, no anytime you add something onto these things, uh, it, it can have unintended consequences. Yeah, down by the fuse box, there's a hot wire. And then there's some of it looks like it'd be a plug for it. If I plug those in, I get in the air, so I don't plug, <laughs> I don't plug that. Well, so, on mine, I've got a 2004 HD. And on mine, mm -hmm. under the dashboard, there are several connectors that don't connect to anything. Right. Those were for other yeah. options right. that were never installed. Right. And you don't, and you can't tell from. I, I, read the I, I can't tell from Winnebago or from Volkswagen's wiring diagram. I can't tell whether it's something I need or not until something right. doesn't work and then I got to trace it out. I've got a quick note here. <coughs> and the subject came up a while ago before we started. A lot of the plumbing items in our units comes from Home Depot. It's standard plumbing items. They're not necessarily Rialta specific. <coughs> So RV, or RV, or RV specific. specific, excuse me, absolutely. So like the spacing between the kitchen faucet valves, that's standard. Four inch. It's, it's yeah. standard. Yeah. Four inch bathroom valve. <coughs> Four inch bathroom valve. So, and in all, most all cases, you can reach up underneath with your hands and use them tight. Unscrew them and pull them up. They're all finger tight. Yeah. That's the design anyway. And go to Home Depot or someplace, find the faucet you want whatever and so don't think it's a RV only part. I wanted to make that for that is the approach. Yeah. And a lot text, of the standard hardware. I carry some text turn off valves and yep. some ends in case I get a leak I can I can stop that yep. at least where <laughs> at least that part of it. Yeah. Okay yeah. you need a kit, you know, stash it somewhere. Uh, the little are they neoprene grommets in those things for the patch? Uh, little, little white uh, grommets. Kind of rubbery stuff. They get uh, they get compressed yep. when you install them, and if you take them in and out a few times, and if they age out, they'll get stiff and they won't seal properly. And you can end up uh, you can buy those little washers for I don't know thirty cents a piece. You can buy yeah. wet comb shape. Yeah. yeah, they're about a buck a piece. Buck a piece. <laughs> no, no. That's, <laughs> that's, 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 that's another item I kept in that box underneath my chair was little stuff like that that you need when you can't find it. It's just a simple thing. We live in a cold climate and I always have to put a throw over my lap when we're driving. We get cold air through where the door handle is. The doors. Is there any fix for that? Bigger blanket. <laughs> Make the people who screwed it up fix it. Because the doors are supposed to have a big sheet of insulation in there to keep the air from getting in. And it's taped. Right. What happens is somebody takes that off of there to look at wires or a window or a motor or whatever, and they throw it away. And there are also some uh, rubber, little rubber push-on things. Oh, uh, yeah. When the hooks, the inner door panel comes off, you lift it up and pull it out. But where those hooks go in, there's supposed to be a little, little rubber tab there that holds it in the right position and blocks off some of the wind that comes through from the outside. But the main the main issue is that uh, that piece of uh, it's a piece of polyethylene plastic, and when they have to work on it, they take it off and they don't try and put it back on. So 
all of the outside wind that's blowing on that door can come through the various holes and it comes out to the door handles and the window, anywhere it can find a space. Are these, <coughs> are these employees on the inner door panels, are they something that uh, is a stock Euroband thing? Do we get yeah, it's, it's a Euroband part, but you don't have to have a Euroband part. You could go to Home Depot and get some, or probably even Walmart and get some little thin fluffy insulation. You get the cover off and stick it in there, put the cover back on and be done. Oh, per se, it's not RV specific. Part of that might have been my own doing when I thought the <laughs> mirrors flexed all the way back and I broke it, so. <laughs> yeah, maybe Theoretically, they do. <laughs> this one didn't. Well, they probably didn't do yeah. with that plastic and, and that, the spring and all that mm -hmm. has got old and so because there, there's a fellow from Canada that has shipped his Rialta to Europe at least twice. They put it in a box. And they take those mirrors and fold them back. Wow. Whoa. You know, besides the, the vehicle, so wow. they can get it in the box in the container. And so it, it, it can be done. Speaking of insulation, uh, in the hood, where the mice eat it up and everything, I've seen online that they people put some kind of Aluminum or something? Mm -hmm. Have you heard of well, that? Mine was on the shelf. Pe people have the used uh, aluminum-coated foam, stick-on yeah. stuff. Push mat. You just people, cut it. Quite the a few size. people are starting to use that. Where you just clean it up real good, and you cut the pieces, and you stick it on there, there and then the silver on the inside. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. I got those on my deal. One of them's called push mat. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty expensive, but it's good stuff. Mm -hmm. yeah, it. it the main reason for that on, on the Rialta, on the Durban, is for a sound editor. You got to dream big, oh don't dream at all.